Guys, today we're going to talk about the four top things you should know when investing on properties outside of US. Stay tuned. Number one and the most important thing is the cycle of the currency, right? Are you buying where the currency is affordable versus the dollar? Or are you buying on the top of the currency? Why is this important? Because if you buy at the top and all of a sudden the currency historically has been lower, then right away whatever equity you think you build in the past five years owning it disappears. In addition to that, your rent also goes down, right? Because if your dollar was, a, uh, your peso was a dollar, and now all of a sudden your peso is only worth half a dollar, so your rent could go in half overnight, and your cap, cap rate could be lower by half. Number two is understanding what the geographic area deals with when it comes to natural events, right? Because you need to get insurance, want to make sure that you don't cover your property for hurricanes and the area is, doesn't get any hurricanes, but it gets earthquakes. Something like that happened to me when I was buying a property in Puerto Rico thinking, you know, let me cover it for uh, only for uh, tornadoes and, and hurricanes to then uh, for Puerto Rico to, to start getting earthquakes. So I wasn't ready for that. So just make sure that you understand what the geographic area deals with when it comes to uh, situations like, like that. Number three is understand the financial products that you're going to be, be able to have for your property. You know, most of the time uh, in other countries, what I've seen, especially in South America, is that uh, the property could be affordable, but if the financing is not available or the financing is where it's an arm, right, you never have a fixed rate, then that's another way where you could lose money thinking you're building equity and you're actually owing more money. Um, so just understand the financial options that you have to leverage on it, leverage on the property and be able to, to have a stable liability long term. Four is, uh, if you still insist on buying this asset in a, in a foreign country, there has to be other tangibles in place, right? If you have family members there, you know, because no more, nothing more valuable than family time, so that's totally fine. It's your favorite place in the world, right? If it's your favorite place in the world, then you, you, you're getting the vacation a lot cheaper because you have a place to stay, you know? So things like that add value, of course, to the reason why you're buying this asset, but do not buy it only for cash flow purposes or just to be a passive investment if the other three you, don't, you haven't calculated yet. Today I'm working from my office. Sometimes I do the videos from home. But remember that our grace on you and best we do the rest. We're here to help you. I've been doing it for 20 years, 3,000 transactions, 70 agents that work under me. It's about 100 people working here. We love helping you. If, if you like the videos and information, please make sure that you subscribe, like, and thank you so much again for watching. Stay tuned.